What's up, everybody? Uh, the first week of April, I was actually laid off, um, but I've since found employment. Uh, however, I have taken a significant pay cut. Anyway, um, a few days after I was laid off, I did uh, a couple of videos. One of them you guys might have seen, which was the black and white World War II video. Um, and the other one was this one. And these are the only two videos I've done since my layoff. The other videos you've seen already, those were all done before I was laid off. Anyway, this is an unwrapping of the of some Ultimont 1911 grips. Um, it's not a review, by the way. Just want to make that clear. Uh, it's just uh, just an unwrapping. Anyway, uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. So I wasn't really on planning on um, getting some new grips for this gun because these grips, as you can see, these are gorgeous grips. They're wooden. They got the big U.S. right there. I mean, these are some beautiful grips. Um, but I was watching another another guy's channel. It's the, I believe it's called the Golden Web channel. Golden Web. Um, anyway, he was doing a, a review on some Altamont grips for 1911s. Um, so out of curiosity, I went to go check the, uh, the website and I saw some grips that, wow, <laughs> they really popped out. So, um, I got them and, uh, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and swap these out, but I'm not going to sell these. I'm not going to, uh, give them away. I'm going to keep these grips. These grips are beautiful. And if I get another 1911, um, these are definitely going on that other one. Um. But we'll see, but I'm not going to give them away. Not selling them, nothing. Um, okay, by the way, this thing is unloaded. Uh, nothing in the magazine. Uh, nothing in the chamber. So uh, we're good to go. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at these new grips that I got. They came in the packaging and also a, a, a package, like a paper package, um, if I remember correctly, because actually I've, I've had these for a while. <laughs> um, but the bubble wrap came with them. And then they came in this Ziploc bag, as you can see. So let's go ahead and take them out, take a look at them. And there they are. As some of you may know, I was in the Army Infantry, and these really stood out, not because of the design and everything, which is gorgeous, but because it said U.S. Army on it. And, uh, yeah, that's that's basically what stood out. Now, I do see, I don't know if it's a flaw or, what, or something, but as you can see there, there's a little piece where uh, it's not darkened right there in the center, but then you see here it is. Now, this isn't chipped or anything. Um, it's smooth. It's, you know, it's not a, uh, it's not cracked or anything. It's just, for whatever reason, it's just not dark right there. Um, but that's okay. Not a problem. Um, but these are, these are beautiful grips, actually. So let me go ahead and, uh, put them on the gun, see what they look like. Okay, so here they are. Beautiful. I really love them. It was because of this U.S. Army. You know, they look great just without the U.S. Army, but I probably wouldn't have bought them if they didn't have the U.S. Army uh, lettering here, font. Beautiful, beautiful grips. I uh, believe this is walnut. Oh, by the way, I believe this wood is walnut. Wow. You know, it's all about a, a personal preference, you know. 
Um, some may like the original that came with the gun. Again, this is an auto ordinance 1911 A1. Um, and these are gorgeous grips. Um, but you know what? Uh, for maybe the re remainder of the year, I could uh, have these on and then maybe next year put these back on and just switch them on and off, you know. Just, um, you know, whatever, whichever way the wind blows, basically. But uh, but for right now, these are it. Let's see here. There you go. Wow. They look kind of old, but then new at the same time, <laughs> I guess. But uh, again, it's all about personal preference. All right, you guys. You guys take it easy.